so the this the previous screencast was about uh, about theoretical concept how you can integrate the the geo server with your angular applications and now we i try to start the development how how the integration uh, is done how the development is done so let's have a check what i mean so if you see the effect of the uh, the applications and and you can see the so the see the road to complete road network from the from the g from the geo server service call and then this is our 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 the plots and uh, simulated plots and simulated buildings address and unit and floor informations that's i that's i mean so you see the there's the scales if you see the scale levels there is a scale something here so it's overloaded i need to fix it here and then you have the 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 over uh, overview maps into the into the your your maps applications so here is uh, we have the same thing here so you can go there okay that's it is not it is something here okay the same applications just like different calls without uh, this is the one of the the service called the existing existing register buildings from the from the from the other application that i said in the previous screen and this is the other applications already so this is the application was the based on the the time lift template engine and the backend server with the backend server the post post gauge and post gis database with extension and the geo server geo geo server with that one so i just just directly use the services and build uh, my 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 web application with the uh, with the respective maps that's that's the previous thing just follow the the last screen card number 34 it was the detailed discussion how we can how can you configure how can you start the uh, the integration the geo server with the your 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 your, your geospatial data sets that's that's the idea so yeah, you already saw this the uh, the effect of the the that's why i already discussed in the my last screen class number 30 27 uh, 27 up to 40 and detailed discussion how can make a uh, angular forms and temple driven forms and reactive forms or model driven forms and then the integration of you you drawing the the you geometry that's i already discussed about detail lot of things and this information into the my last screencast just you can follow this the screencast and then it's it should automatically you can get the clear idea of what i mean the the complete developments so now today i try to give it to you how the geo server integration is done uh, it is not a geo server call here because it is directly called the survey and uh, the open street map and build your geometry and after that when the geometry build and you can even export these then these coordinate points because there is the coordinate points you need it to and there's a there's actions user user registration forms user role is still not implemented plot registration forms and then building registration forms floor registration forms unit registration forms and form modify and validation this you can here you can get here and then even though you can modify the, the geometry itself you can modify and there is snapping functions you can modify those features so what what we want to do here the the maps uh, this is the geo maps and let's and now we, we I, I i try to give it to you the general overview what i mean the the what i mean the in sense like like geo server so if you if i logged in as a geo server so if i go back into the geo server let's see i like to uh, this is log out in the geo server as admin user now i just log try to log in so i changed it here the username password oh, okay that's and that i didn't forget it and uh, that's you need to start the user server so you see that geo server is here running that's that i mean every every geo server you have to be start the geo server and when you logged in then it is flagged in the geo server so let's see have a uh, interactions with that uh then admin admin and then uh, i changes the uh, the server the geo server you see the the logged in informations you are if you are logged in systems everything is logged in in the system is locked and even though when you call the services then it's logged in what what is the here 
So So if you see the the overview that's all this that I already talk about detail about how can you configure how you connect with the different sources of data storage we have a t stories here you see the lot of stories here yeah, this is the story that I I used it here the oh, UV subgroup geospatials and this is the layers I here the some some uh, definitions and if you see that the view and then view layers you can view it what you have it already configured so it says i have a lot of configuration for the for my different applications uh, use those the data sets even though here you have a possibility to export into the different format of the of data so this is the wms wfs format even though you can export as a kml and then after that you can put it in the google Earth and open layers in the default format and pdf format wfs you can do even though, even though you can export the shape files or kml files that's the that's the uh, the screencast i did in 34 then 34.1 uh, one up to 30 dot, uh, 32 you just follow detailed discussion how can you export import in for the we with different different formats uh, formats and even though how can you different data set you can integrate directly into the web pages just follow the screen cards you can get over idea just here i try to give it to what i did the last screen last thing that because i am trying to integrate the services into the my my angular type application that's why i'm trying to to give you to the real so very short explanation what i mean here how the integration so you see that the local host because the the um, database is, is in my local machines i change the port number 777 and this is the default uh, url for the geo server logging uh, logging logging page so if i go to the in the overview page you see the if I go there, the data, uh, the second page of the of my Geo Server page, you have the, the you see that the lot of config configuration there, the Geo data, uh, geometry, GIS data, information, uh, information, and then you see the road information. Let's see how it's look like in the in the geo in the in the geo maps you see, see the geo maps is look like here so exactly the definition the integration of the services and here you can see the detailed information when i clicking the detailed information for 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 geo, geo server that detailed information for this each of the objects and this is the configuration that i did the last um, configuration so here if i go to the the detail uh, in other maps and then you can see the another maps for I know this is the same maps. Uh, this is the same maps for the geo server roads maps and main maps, and this is our the plot information. That's the register plot that I have in the systems. You see that here. That's the information you see when when I go uh, go here. I go here, and there is the information. You see the information is here. So this is the information that I call the Geo Server, and just 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 look at it. I, I will show you what the development is done when when the develop how we can develop this these features or these functionalities. So this is the our information. Of course, you need to configure this one. This data set has to be in the PostGIS database. You can even though PostGIS are all the shape files, you can collect it, connect it, and define a WMS service or WFS service and call the service into the your respective web pages. That's what I mean. So you you get the idea of what I mean. So just follow the um, previous screencast and it has a detailed information how we can configure how you connect with the different data sources and then how can you build a workspace and then you have it to this you see that this is my workspace and you have it to my have a dv climate climate 2 an application data set city workspace and then geospatial workspace because i use the this workspace for the different applications uh, for the geo for different geo applications and then there is store that is store functionalities you can see the store here and then if you go to the new store you can see the different format of data how can you integrate uh, the different data set or different data sources into the into the geo server configurations and here basically what i did here the for my post gis database connections that sets the connection information into my post gis database connection information i connect the data and build the the, the services out of those data sets and that's i mean
just follow the previous game cast and then get the overall idea of what you know, what the configuration how can you integrate the data sets how can you configure your data sets and how can you configure your data sets with the port GA, uh, port geo server and then with the different sources from the shape files or file system or port GA database or doesn't matter which sources you are coming from the data there's a lot of possibilities and then here you have the possibilities you have a service definitions and then you can export the the your services your data set into as a different formats you can see here the different formats just depending on the on the format for for my case i have a lot of application that use the kml for the google art and then geojson for the for normal html file and the shape file call and csv export for those data sets and then and pdf and then so on so forth this is the idea of these data sets in the into the in the